Welcome to Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of Big Red and the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. We're expecting a full house, and they are more than ready to get things started. Today, we have a big Conference USA showdown in store. As we'll see, the UTEP Miners taking on the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. First down here for the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Back to throw, it's McConnell. Using the quick game. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. The Miners have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for the second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, just keeps firing. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to the air one more time. Another incompletion on third down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. And the Miners will send out the punt unit. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. First down for this offense. He's going to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Young. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And, and my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers on second and 12. Grabs it in the middle. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Nice completion. Nice short gain. Now it sets up third down. And wait a minute. Third down now becomes we're going to go for it on fourth down anyway. So it really doesn't matter that much. Great job getting a little chunk. Now we get to go have some fun. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And 
in the draw play, you know, it's about looking over here, look for pass, and then slipping it in real quick. Defense, too quick getting in the backfield, caging that ball, making it stay in the middle of the field, getting the big TFL. And the Hilltoppers Number will line up to punt it away. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And you run those routes, those curl routes, just like that. Those DBs are going to break when you go to throw the football. So you better put that thing on a line. And the QB did there. Put it on a line. Great job. Great catch. First down. They'll run it from the gun. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Pick up of five. Brings up second down. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. The pirouette on the line. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's brought down after a nice game. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. The Miners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, give on the inside. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Game of four. Brings up second down. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, UTEP! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards, and he found his way to the end zone from the 7 to cap it. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing. Just 
flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Oh, that is a sensational individual effort. Did you see how he dove and completely stretched out? The fact that he was able to reel that in is just unbelievable. I don't even think the head coach or quarterback can believe he was able to make that diving catch. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. What a great job by the backside of the defense staying home. A lot of time the run looks like it's going the other direction. What happens? You start to chase. Nope. These guys stayed home and played their assignment, and that's why they had success. Don't try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Using his legs, it's young. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And I think that might be an example of the running back maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Everybody wants to try to bounce the ball outside and hit the home run, but in college football at this level, you just need to do a better job taking what the defense gives you. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting up field. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. The Hilltoppers will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. UTEP has the ball. The offense ready to go back to work. You like old-fashioned, grinded-up, run-over-em football. That last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's McConnell. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Curl route against man coverage. You got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back towards you. Nice job executing it, and they pick up the first. And the Miners in the hurry up. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Running back searching for a hole. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Quick strike complete. They'll stop him at the 41, but he's got 10 yards, and they'll move the chains. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that, A, it's zone, but, B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll need to get this one to the 31 here on third down. Wants to throw. It's McConnell. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And they'll send out the field goal unit. 
This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. set on first down. They'll run it from the gun. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. The play action fake. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Quickly complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. And the Hilltoppers come to the line with a new set of downs. He's got it on the right. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Nice job, defense. You always hear people talk about tackling the catch. You saw it right there. There was nowhere for that receiver to go once he had possession. As a result, no game. This offense has a second down play. The back goes in motion. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flat. Gets it out fast. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires left. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. That's one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. The Hilltoppers will call on their punt team. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll put the tight end in motion. He'll pull it on the read. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Well, after that big gain by the QB on the zone read on an early down in the drive, it'll be interesting to see moving forward if the defensive end stops crashing down so quickly. If he just starts to hesitate to take the quarterback away, that's going to open up the running back for these plays in the future. They'll go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Brings up second down.
Here's the handoff. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. They'll have to get it to the 37 on third down. To throw, it's McConnell. Oh, he can't hang on. That one was nearly picked off instead. He'll force a fourth down. The Miners will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Leaves it with the running back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? It's far too young on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. He's got an open man. Hit the afterburners, kid. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before it's finally stopped. Nice strike. Big play in the passing games. I'll tell you what. Find your mismatches. Find your advantages. What you do well. And do it again. And then again. And then we know how don't we do it again. Keep attacking. This offense has to be feeling it after that last one. And they'll snap it first and 10 just outside the 20. Fresh looking for the end zone. And the ball is picked off. Quarterbacks have tough jobs. They got to be fast, obviously. They got to react to all the speed in front of them, all the shifts, all the motions, all the formations. But when you play zone, you got to make sure you get deep to shallow. I can't get beat deep first. The quarterback does a good job bailing, playing that cover three technique, then breaking on the football, then going and making a big play. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll leave it with him. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback on the keeper. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Great job with the decision making there. He read the defense, kept the football himself on the zone read, got a big gain for a first down. And that's the kind of thing that really can kick your offense into overdrive. And it can also generate explosive plays, too. And there's things this offense can do off of these zone read type plays. You might see an RPO down the line. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He'll keep it himself. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw, it's McConnell. He's got his man. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Just beautiful, and that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. And the Miners have their offense in high gear.
They go to the ground. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Caught behind the line. It's Goodman. The first down pass was complete on the screen. Brought down on the play at the 35 yard line. Brings up second down. It's offense set up with a second and short. He'll do it himself. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. You go with the option, quarterback keeps it himself, and look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your play. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Great job by the defense there. They weren't surprised by that play call there on third and short. They were expecting pass. They took everything away and forced the incompletion. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Oh, the attempt is no good. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. I wonder if mechanically something is off of this kicker. That's now his second missed field goal of the day. And guys, we've got almost perfect conditions to kick the football. I'm not sure what's going on. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did on the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right, on this drive. You did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Quick completion on the out. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Trying to pick up a first down. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. Number and the Hilltoppers decide to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. UTEP has the ball in the minor offense ready to go to work. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down. He lobs one high down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. So they're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. Back to throw. It's McConnell getting some heat. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. This pass rush is serious, man. When you watch them on film, they do a nice job in the back end, taking away all the throws downfield. He's trying to get to his check down, but that pressure gets to him, and the hit forced the incomplete. Trying play action.
looking to the big tight end. And the pass hits, picked off! And he will step out of bounds, but what a play to get the ball back for his offense. My goodness, he had all night to throw the football. I know we're playing a night game, but goodness gracious, so much time. Usually quarterbacks don't have that much time to pick you apart. The defense stuck with the wide receivers. Nobody was open, and they make the big interception. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field position than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. One of the things you love about this running back is not only can he run between the tackles, but he's also a weapon in this offense catching the football. They'll go five wide on second and eight. He's looking to throw. Fires toward the end zone. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. And you just got to wonder if the pass rush affected the QB's accuracy on that throw. He had his guy wide open in the end zone, but he had to throw it a split second faster than he wanted to, and the ball got away from him. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting a pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. This one will be a 43-yard field goal attempt from the left hash. Just drives it between the uprights. Well, they're able to get a field goal, put three points up on the board after getting that interception. They'd like to see the offense do a little bit more with that possession, give themselves an opportunity to score a touchdown. But listen, teams will take three points any way they can get it. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. Trying to find his man on first down. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Yeah, and I, I don't know what happened. He didn't look open as it is, and the QB's trying to make a play, trying to force the ball, but at least he threw it where his guy could catch it or nobody could catch it. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. Back to pass. It's McConnell. And the throw out to the sideline. Good for a few. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Well, the offense trying to attack the perimeter of the field in the passing game. And how about the, the sweet feet by the receiver on that play? Who doesn't like a little dash of the yards with their football? A little ballet moment there. On third down, he drops to throw. And it's picked off. Would have loved to have gotten a big return out of that one, but they'll take it first down at the 40. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job of his decision making. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. 
On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. A shot toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. You see it in football all the time, right? I get a matchup on the outside. You want to try to play man coverage? I'm going to let my wide receiver try to go up and make a play. A lot of times the wide receiver wins. Not this time. The Hilltoppers send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Punt goes out of bounds and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking downfield, it's McConnell. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Not seen a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that one. Third and ten, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Running it to the right. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Timeout, Western Kentucky. The Miners will bring the punt team onto the field. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. Fair catch just inside the 40. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Find space on the right. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking to go up top on first down. Blasted as he lets it go. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. And back to the air on second down. Fires deep toward the end zone. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. And the Miners will kick it away to crank up the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. And wings it incomplete. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field, and we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done.
and the Hilltoppers line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Leaves it with the back. Runs through a tackle. They get him stopped after a pickup of five to the 28. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. To the air. It's McConnell. Gets it to the back. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. The Miners will line it up on first and ten. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He's got it on the move. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Miners trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. I'll try to power it in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. It's now second. Second and goal for this offense. Tries again to get it in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, and you see the sense of urgency now going up, right, David, on defense. You're creating a negative play with their backs up against the wall. Everybody selling out to stop the run. Nice job being aggressive by this defense. Let's see what the offense dials up on third and goal. Trying to bully their way in. Stumbled to the ground. Decision time right here. I like going for it. You're playing on the road. You have an opportunity to take the crowd out of it a little bit here. Why not just line up quickly and just try to run the ball? Yeah, stay aggressive. I mean, you want to shut these people up. You want to quiet them down. But field goals don't do that very often. Try to go for the touchdown right here. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. No good. After the miss, the lead is still four. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in a slip. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to quote the great philosopher, Reese Davis, this is very ungood. Just nothing working for this offense, Palmer. They got to find something. Well, the, the plays look good against the scout team during the week in practice, but they have just not been able to find a rhythm against this defense today. Tough way to start this drive. Now they'll try to fix it on second and 15. From the gun, running back gets the give. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Lofts one high and deep. 
And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. UTEP has the ball, the offense ready to go back to work. Wants to throw on first down. Got his man downfield. Oh, look out! Touchdown, Miners! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. That's another example of just really good football. This is why they've built the lead here in the second half. Nice job pressuring the quarterback, making him feel uncomfortable, coming into somebody else's building and keeping it really, really quiet. Right back to the air on second and ten. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receivers got to do a better job. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. Unloads to the wideout. And he intercepts it. Touchdown, UTEP! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And he's coming out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do have it, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll give it to the back. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Up 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll run play action. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Hilltoppers will try to pin them back with the punt. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. Boy, that last touchdown, the one play quick. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Love the coverage on the back end. The defender staying right by the receiver in the intended target. And as a result, that ball's incomplete. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Looking for a man. It's McConnell. Working the middle. It's complete. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves him with third and three. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Catch in the middle. It's Goodman. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Second down coming up. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He's looking to throw. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Linebackers are so fast nowadays, so multiple. They can do so many different things. Not only do they play the run, but if I need you to go get a sack, I can just send you. Send one of those fast linebackers that can rush the quarterback. line up and it is a long way to the sticks from here on third and long doesn't need to take the check down got him downfield and he's brought down after a huge completion third down and long is the hardest down to execute in football but this offense made it look easy nice job being aggressive making the big play down the field and now set up in a position where they can go get a touchdown on first and goal and that big gainer on the last one has them ready to go from inside the 10 and he's wrestled to the ground Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Coming after him. And he'll sail it way too far for everybody. Man, they just couldn't find a hole. Down in the red zone, the field shrinks. So much harder to complete those passes but fourth and short. Now, decision time, baby. And the field goal unit is going to give it another try. The old college try. Just keep kicking. Surely one will go in. 
And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And now the lead is extended a little far. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Good news, I guess. A lot of room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's a bad sign on offense when you have that many people running free at your running back. That means guys up front aren't getting their blocks. Just too many hats getting to the ball carrier. I love his effort making multiple guys miss, but still, it's a negative play. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Complete downfield. He was just a breath from taking that one all the way, and he'll run that momentum right into the fourth quarter. And the Hilltoppers have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Got his man on the right. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue, but no Oscars being handed out on that. Catch open down the middle. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And I don't like the play call, guys. Screen pass at this point of the game against the defense, playing big zones, prevent trying to keep the ball in front. It's just not going to work. You've got to take shots offensively. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Working that left side now. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, the defense needs one more stop. They did a nice job not giving up a first down that last one, but with the lead late like this, one more stop, and they're going to win this game. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Looking down the middle. Makes a catch past the sticks. Tight windows, no problem to grab the tackle, and it's first down in the red zone at the 10. The Hilltoppers have pushed it inside the 20. Caught in the backfield, it's Hutchinson. 
They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. They keep attacking through the air. Got it! He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They're going to try to throw for it on third down. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. This offensive line is not going to like watching the film back uh, tomorrow when they get the opportunity because they have gotten beat time and time again up front, especially in passing situations. All of the hits, all of the sacks that this quarterback has taken is the biggest reason why they're going to lose this game. They'll try to pick up the first. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Hilltopper. You get down here in the red zone, you get close to the end zone, and you get goal-to-go situations, you've got to be physical, and I love teams that can run the football. They run the football, hand it to the running back, he does the rest, puts it in the end zone. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pulls him closer. It's 24 to 10. Precise, relentless execution on that 13 play scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They've got it down to a two touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. UTEP has the ball, the offense, ready to go back to work. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead, Dan. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. After picking up a couple at second and eight, They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking to throw for it. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. I mean, sometimes you overthink it. Sometimes running the football on third and short with the lead is not the worst thing in the world. Keep that clock ticking. But now, decided to go for it, setting up a fourth down. And this looks like a situation where you should punt the football. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Hutchinson. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Looking for a productive play on first down. Give to the running back. At the 45 on his way! And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Right back to the well. We'll give him a couple on that one, second and eight coming up. You gotta give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. 
Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. Looking to throw on second down. It's caught. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And the Hilltoppers will snap it on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Got his man quickly. Makes the catch and he's brought down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Reverse. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. Looking for room. It's Young. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk exclusive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. Moving toward the end zone, and the ball is free. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. UTEP has the ball and the minor offense ready to go to work. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Pushes forward for a pickup of three. Run They'll mark it at the eight. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. They want to run it left here. They stop him after a six-yard run out to the 24. No doubt the offense at this point of the game with the lead late. They're going to try and run the football, and they're going to try and bleed the clock. They need all ball carriers to stay in bounds to keep this clock ticking, just like that guy did there. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Offense in a split backfield. The gift to the back. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the ground with the back. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. 
quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And it's knocked away. Downfield, the DB getting a hand in there. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football, maybe take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late Number in the fourth quarter. The Miners will send out the punt unit. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline, and the coach probably said, you dropped it and you didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. you got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. Looking to pass on second down. Makes the grab down the middle. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He spikes it. Clock stops as they try to rally late. It's second down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage. And as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. And quickly to the line of scrimmage, they spike it and stop the clock. It's second down. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Uncorks it. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fellow, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. The Hilltoppers will hustle to the line. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. It leads to second down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. He's back to throw on second down. And he needed a little bit wider field as that one falls out of bounds. And the defense is playing with a sense of urgency right now. Obviously, they're playing with the lead. They know this offense needs to find a way to generate points, expecting a shot on that last play. So nice job in coverage. They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. Looking to throw. Fires to the wide out. And the pass goes incomplete, and that's going to do it. Clock strike zero, ball game is over.